Hey, it's Michelle here with your encouraging word for Wednesday. Today we're going to read Colossians 3.12 and it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Now listen, I know that seems like a difficult task or even an impossible task task. But if we're in this world and we are trying to do things the world's way, we're not going to be compassionate. We're not going to be very humble or kind or gentle or patient. And that's honestly what sets us apart from the world. Listen, God has called us to be set apart. And when we walk and act out the fruit of the Spirit, people are going to notice. But when they notice, it doesn't bring us glory. It might bring us honor and respect, but the glory belongs to the Lord because it's through the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us that we are even able to walk out the fruit of the Spirit, that we are even able to be compassionate and humble and gentle and patient. There's no other way to be that way. I mean, we can try in our flesh and, you know, we might be able to control ourselves once in a while, you know, without relying on the Holy Spirit, without praying about it, without really thinking about it. But when the heat gets turned on, and we are pushed to our limits or we're stretched beyond what we have ever dealt with before, acting in a way that glorifies the Lord doesn't really come natural to us. I mean, it might over time, you know, when we've been walking with the Lord for 15, 20, 25, 30 years, I mean, but I talk to people who have been Christians for a long time and they still struggle. They still struggle with the same things that uh, not so seasoned believers struggle with. I mean, I believe on this side of heaven, we're going to have struggles. No, they differ. I mean, obviously we don't deal with the same struggles every single day, every single week, every single month, but... The, the struggles still require us to act out of the, the power of the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, we're just going to be acting crazy. There's a difference when we act out of the flesh or react out of the flesh than when we act out of the Spirit or react out of the Spirit. Listen, there's a significant, there's a noticeable difference between our flesh and and our spirit. And as believers, we are called to clothe ourselves. That means that we are called to clothe ourselves with the Lord Jesus Christ through our actions, through our thoughts, through our deeds, through our words. And that's because we are to bring God glory with how we live. Now, there's a few people that call themselves a Christian and yet nothing changes. Okay, like nothing in their life changes at all. They still talk the same way, act the same way, think the same way, reason the same way, you know, do the same things. And as believers, we're not called to do that. We are called to be new, right? That's what 2 Corinthians 517 tells us. It tells us that we are a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's what it's like to live as a believer. That's what it's like to live as a new creation. It means we do things differently. We do things in a new way. We do things in a way that brings God glory. We do things in such a way that it, it, catches people off guard. It separates us from the crowd, right? That's what we are called to do as believers. We are literally called to be separate. And that doesn't mean that we just separate ourselves from the crowd. We separate ourselves from the world, from sinners. 
No, we still have to live in this world. We still live around worldly people and sinners and unbelievers. So we're not going to get away from that as long as we live here on this earth. So then it's our responsibility to show the world, to show unbelievers, to show non-Christians the love, the image of Jesus Christ through the way we, we conduct ourselves. And that's okay. You know, that is what we should be doing. That's what we're called to do. So don't think that because you're a Christian that, um, that everything is just going to come easy to you. Like you're never going to have any struggles. You're never going to have any doubts. You're never going to have any issues because that simply isn't the truth. But when we rely on the power of the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of us, we're able to live compassionately in a world that seems almost compassionless, right? There's so many things that happen in our life right now that are happening in our life right now. And people just seem to be uncompassionate about the things that people are dealing with, the things that people are going through, the, the things that people have went through. And we need to show more compassion as believers in Jesus Christ. And kindness, simple kindness is lost right now. And we just need to get that back. We need to be able to express kindness to other people, whether they think the way that we think or whether they believe the same way that we believe or do the same things that we do. We have got to be able to express kindness to them in humility. You know, we should be the most humble people as believers in Jesus Christ because of what Jesus did. We are going to live in heaven one day. Like he humbled himself to death. He was beaten and abused and he didn't have to be, right? He came all the way from glory to die on a cross, the most shameful death back then. For what? For us. So that we could be humbled under his authority so that we can be humbled under his sacrifice and what he did for us. And we can show that humility to other people. The other thing is gentleness. You know, in our gentleness, it will cause people to open up. It will cause people to see Jesus Christ. It will cause people to know that he is alive and well through his believers here on earth, right? That the Holy Spirit is thriving here on earth. But if we can't demonstrate that through our gentleness of spirit, through our, our gentleness to other people, they're going to miss it, all right? They're going to miss it. And the other thing is patience. Now, patience for a lot of us doesn't come easily, but you know, with the Holy Spirit, all things are possible. So we can be patient. We can wait when we don't want to wait. We can allow others to go ahead of us, even if we think that we're definitely in a bigger hurry than they are. No, we can, in our Holy Spirit power, put all of these things into action so that God can be glorified. Amen. I hope that word encourages you today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit because none of this is impossible for us, Lord. With you, all things are possible. And Lord, we just thank you for the strength that you give us. And Lord, we just give you all the glory for this. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that word encouraged you today. If it did, please like and share and subscribe to my channel so you never miss an encouraging word for Wednesday. And also be sure to subscribe to my newsletter below so that I can send you the weekly reminder when I post a new video. All right, take care. God bless.